Hello, beautiful friends. Thank you. It's been a while since I've done a reading, so I'm I'm popping in here to do this. And so you're probably wondering, is she going to be consistent? <laughs> is she going to continue to read? Well, I read as I feel like it. Um, if I feel compelled to do a reading, and there are things that are happening, I'm I'm going to say in the last sixty days in everybody's life that is literally making, um, it's, it's changing their life trajectory. Like whatever you thought was gonna happen or could happen or that you desired to happen is not happening that way. And uh, we're even seeing in current events, things are not happening the way that we would think that they would happen. And so um, it just, you know, leaves us with a lot of questions. So anyway, I am on here <laughs> because I wanted to see now since this shift is happening and I can feel myself in the shift, even the things that I've decided to do or, um, or be involved in is creating a shift in my life and in the people, uh, in the lives of the people that I love. And not in a bad way, but it definitely is something to be felt. So I am going to pull from the Witches Tarot. It's been a while since I've pulled from this particular deck. And my my deck is actually sitting on, um, it's a spread with the pentacle on there. It's very, very pretty and um, it encircled and then the platform is black. So if I have a chance to, to take a snapshot of it, I will. So I'm gonna pull three cards and I'll probably do a foundation card. And this is really about today's energy. Yeah, I'm gonna do a foundation card. Okay, so the foundation card is the strength card. There it is. That is my favorite card, that card right there. And in this particular deck, I love the the expression of it because you have the lion and you have the maiden and, and they're in their most vulnerable state, right? Um, where you're looking at the lion have, having the passion for the maiden, the maiden completely exposed, um, but willing to um, be... Uh, caressed, if you will. And so here we're looking at um, where is it that you, where is it we can be strong and where is it that we can be vulnerable at the same time? And I'm going to say this has to do with a very literal experience. This is literal. This is not something, um, you know, in the woo-woo <laughs> or in the spirit world. Um, this is really about your physical strength. Who who are your allies? So pay attention to who's in your corner. And then move respectively. Who's in your corner? And understand that there's reciprocity. However that reciprocity looks for you, looks like for you, then you you, you have the... Uh, openness and you have the permission to respond in that reciprocity without any judgment, okay? So if someone is doing something for you, you can do something for, for that person and that is how you are working through what I call reciprocity, right? Or, or you know, somebody say tit for tat, but that's usually negative. This isn't about that. It's just I scratch your back, you scratch mine. So however that looks, there's someone in your life right now that that relationship, that dynamic is happening. And so it's okay and you don't need to be worried about being judged. That's the foundation. Um, the first card that popped out is the King of Wands. There you go. And it's yellow. So we're dealing with... Um, some creative energy, and we're also looking at uh, um, in the chakra band, we're looking at the solar plexus, 
Now, years ago, this used to be flip-flop. Yellow was in the creative place, and then orange was the, uh, was the uh, solar plexus. But in this case, because we're looking at the king, I'm going to say it's more in the creative um, creative energy, and uh, the yellow is definitely bright. So th with this relationship that you have, it's good to be bright or, or uh, let's say, totally present in, in whatever it is that you're creating, okay? The second card is the Queen of Pentacles. I, like I said, this is very literal. Queen of Pentacles right here. Okay. So this is, uh, I find it's interesting that it's male and female energy right there. So masculine, uh, feminine energy. And the green that she's wearing is definitely about healing. So take this time to um, acknowledge where it is that you need to um what it is that you need to do to feel better, right? Allowing your masculine energy, whoever that is in your life, to be a support for you. Why do we know that? Because the strength card popped up. Okay. And the latter card or the last card, um, this is the Queen of Cups. It showed up reversed. So I'm going to show that to you. The Queen of Cups, you notice that she's wearing blue. And when it's reversed, it looks like this. The cups is about communication and feelings, okay? I, I'm just going to just be really literal. Dump it, you know. It's just, it's, some of the communication is not even necessary. Because this strength card is all that you need to pay attention to in this relationship. Now, this relationship could be with a partner. And it could be with your your a family dynamic, parents, or even um, parents and children, right? It can still have that dynamic. It does not have to be sexual at all or this intimate experience. But it is, or let me say, it doesn't have to be a sensual experience, but it can be intimate. The intimacy between uh, parents and their children, uh, the vulnerability of it, the trust of it, right? So, in in this case, today's energy literally is saying, "Hey, don't worry. Let go of the worry and and rest in that strength. Like like completely surrender." So, anyways. That's what I wanted to say for today's energy. And uh, perhaps I'll be back tomorrow to share. Now, there's some different things that I'm doing. And um, and I might share it like a vlog or a blog uh, about how I am creating life. And uh, if I get it all put together, I'd love to share it with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening and um, participating in my reading today. Ashay.